what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chapo Bill. Today we're another little video uh, we're gonna be throwing on the P2R throttle body spacer on the 8th gen. I got a 06 FG2. It's the same 06 to 11. So hopefully this video pertains to you. It's a simple process, so I'm gonna keep it as short as I can for you guys. So there's no confusion then, you know. It's easy to do. Brought me the spacer itself. I got the screws here. It brings you longer screws, and you gotta replace two of the studs that the stock one has. And the two thermal gaskets here as well. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys so you guys can check this product out. It's a very, very simple one, two, three process. So let's get out there and see what's up. All right, guys, what we're gonna get into first is uh. I got me a little 12, I gotta remove the intake, slide that out the way. The 12 for the bolts and the screws here. And what you're gonna wanna do is this hose out to the side and clip this. You don't want no, none of that tugging or nothing. You want it to be all smooth. You don't wanna break nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on that first, guys. All right, uh, I'm gonna attempt to cheat my way past. I'm gonna just leave this to the side. I really don't feel like taking the whole intake out. It goes all the way down there. All right, since we got the intake out to the side, what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on these bolts right here. If you didn't see, I unclipped this. You don't want none of this thing being tugged that you don't want to ruin nothing at all. So we're gonna work on that next. I'm removing these, these quick four uh, 12 millimeters. Once you knock all these bolts loose and the screws, uh, you're gonna wanna loosen this little hose and give you a little more leverage, a little more, you know, space to work with. Possibly remove this one as well, just to, you know, get out the way, work comfortably. It's always important. This hose right here doesn't really wanna let loose, so I think I'm gonna just work with this one out. And we're looking clear, I think, Everything is good. I'm gonna pull this last bolt out. We should be ready to pull it out. I'm gonna take your time, you know. Last thing you want is to end up having to work on something else. this out next step guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of these studs real fast okay. what you want to do is a quick little trick you want a bolt on there I'm using the same ones that I took off you're not gonna need these studs anymore they're not long enough now you want to counter tight these and you're gonna wanna loosen this one. This whole stuff should come right out. As you can see, I got this stud out. I'm gonna do the same thing for that one down there. Now that I got that last stud out, I'm gonna work on taking this gasket off. You wanna make sure the surface is completely smooth. You don't want anything on there on either or side. So just go ahead and give it a nice wipe. A little blade, maybe scratch it off. If it's stuck like mine is a little. I'll see you guys right after I get that done. All right, guys, once you got these surfaces as smooth as you can, that the gasket will sit nice and flush on it, you are ready to throw it on. Okay, y'all. So, you're going to want to make sure square down there, not up there. There's a little shape down here. And the logo facing you. 
logo facing this way straight. That'll be nice and like that. Okay, you can see everything lines up, you know. Man, let me know if I'm the only one that every time I work on a car, I end up all cut up and bruised up, man. All right, guys, so I got a little ahead of myself and started tightening, and I didn't have space to get the fitting, this little vacuum fitting back there, just to block it off. So what I did is loosened up, and now I'm playing with this, slide it back a little bit, and I'm gonna work this fitting in there, and get as tight as I can. All right, guys, got the little fitting back there, and we're gonna just tighten all up, and. We're all done, guys. All right, fam. As you can see, the space is on. Definitely gives the engine bay a little bit of life, especially with the little screws I got going on. All right, guys. I'll just start the car. Make sure everything's in one piece and everything's straight and I'll be making a review video on this and letting you guys know what I feel about it and what's up with it man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope it helped. Comment, like, subscribe guys, it helped me out a lot. I hope you guys have a blessed day.